Winter is coming. Yes, I know autumn officially just started uh, about two weeks ago, but I'm finally watching Game of Thrones, so I had to fit that reference in at some point there. But rest assured, um, winter is coming sooner than you think, because the second you take off your Fortnite costumes after getting done trick-or-treating there, uh, Mariah Carey's going to get her annual paycheck. But all you might want for Christmas is stubs, and we're going to show and XP. Uh, two great things to unwrap in your little stocking stuffers on the big special day. Um, we're talking about that. The best way to make stubs and XP a, a huge new method that you guys are going to want to capitalize on. So as always, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, I would very appreciate it. Big week. We have PUTM. We have a new program. A uh, lot of stuff. But let's get into it. So, a lot of what I was alluding to there, of course, with winter is coming. Um, we're getting to the end game here. Uh, we're getting a 99 Corey Seager, which is going to be pretty much max hitting stats. Wait, crazy. I, I, that card's never leaving my lineup uh, but what I mean here is those are new flawless rewards so we're gonna get to the point where a lot of these cards were getting these one mil max stub cues that you have to wait in line for longer line than for fucking chick-fil-a on a Saturday night in order to get these cards so that goes for flawless new rank seasons I don't think it's gonna happen to events for a good long while because that population is staying strong um, but I'm getting to the point where you know if I'm playing during the day here uh, it gets a little difficult to actually actually find a game so I'm guessing we're not too far along especially with Kluber and Seeger that we're getting tomorrow that we're gonna see near max out prices probably not quite yet but maybe the next BR and World Series program so um, let's get into the big thing that I want to talk about here because it's fucking back baby many seasons actually has some notoriety to play with it uh, they took out the Johnny Dewey Damon or at least I unlocked I think they did take him out Unless I'm wrong here, I don't see him as a reward. Maybe it's just because I finally did it. Uh, you're proud of me? Five months in, I finally completed one. Um, but there's a very, very strong grind method here, again, um, in the mini seasons mission. So let's go to it here. Um, very easy. In a single season, hit 10 home runs with face of the franchise players that can be legend of the franchise or uh, from the first program, you know, like the Seeger, the Jazz Chisholm, uh, those cards, the 90 overalls, uh, while playing on all-star difficulty or higher. And you're going to get 5 ball in his habit packs, 3,000 stubs, and 3,500 XP. Now, have I in the past called these gold player packs? Yes. Are they basically just, you know, get a gold... You know, 81 overall, 600 stub player packs. Yes, but there's the chance of what if, you know. Like, what if you pulled the Scherzer that miraculously goes for 250,000? And there's the 3,500 XP. This truly probably took me, I guess, five innings in total for... I've done it a couple times now. No big pulls, a lot of fucking purples here, sadly, again. If only it was Helen Keller, I could have a little bit more excitement opening these packs. Because as soon as I see that purple hue... Uh, I'm just soft-cocked and sad because I know I'm getting nothing. Um, but I've done it a few times here. It takes me about two games to do it. About three innings, a full game, and then a second time, five innings. Very easy. Again, you're going to want to make sure you're the home team. You can see who you're going to play beforehand. You probably don't want to play Randy Johnson. That is A-OK. -okay. You can press square, start a new season, and you are good. You can face a, a shitty team at home. And of course, if you're on next gen, it's going to be uh, significantly easier because uh, you can play it blank canvas, which again, if you guys have not yet downloaded in the uh, stadium vault, very easy. It's the best spot to hit home runs, and that's what you need to do. Now, if this does... Okay, though, very fast. Um... Uh, Luis Castillo is slightly better, I suppose, but you can keep doing it if you don't want to face them. Um, but a couple other things I want to point out as well. There's a couple bonuses right here that you're going to earn uh, regardless. Tally 40 RBIs. That's easy. You're going to be able to get that done. Get 10 show packs, 2,500 XP, and, you know, 3K stubs. Uh, this one, win 10 games, you're going to play Ulster difficulty or higher regardless if you're going for that. Uh, and you're going to get 20 of the show packs, which is pretty fucking huge. And then also, 
You can couple that method with this one, which I tried doing a couple times. It makes it go a little slower because you don't have as good of cards to use. Um, tally 20 hits with any middle infield players. Now, again, uh, that would be an Ulster difficulty if you're going to combine both of them. Uh, this is the team I was using, uh, but I did try out having a bunch of second base and shortstops. Again, you don't have to win the game. Uh, it doesn't really matter, so you can just play a couple of them out of position. None of them can play catcher, sadly. I guess they have haven't put out the face of the franchise, Williams Austin Dio, quite yet. Um, but you can pretty easily search for him. Just go to the second base and shortstop at your bench and uh, put him in like so. If you want to couple it, do it. If not, you don't, you don't really have to. Uh, in my time, I usually got 10 homers before I got 20 total hits. So I'd recommend just go for the homers. That is your best bet. And that's going to be great with the new program coming up. It's going to be on Friday. We don't know too much about it yet, but uh, it's going to get you some good shit. Again, a lot of XP, which is going to get you those rewards a uh, hell of a lot faster. And with us getting into the end game here, uh, not as many people are grinding their life away to get it instantaneously. That was a good snap. Ever get one of those? It's just crisp. That felt good. I will say, I've admitted it on stream before. When I was a wee lad, you know, younger than 21 right now, I used to try and snap with my index and my thumb. You tell me. That, that was a poor one, but still. Pretty embarrassing. <laughs> I remember we'd have a choir concert, right? Uh, and we had to, like, snap, you know, in elementary school. And everybody else could do it. And it was some foreign concept to me. And I was just like <laughs> doing the motions. But hiding behind one of my friends. Uh, uh, acting like I'm snapping. Uh, it's okay. You know, it's an ensemble. Nobody can hear it. Okay, here we go. Uh, wake me up from that boring ass story here. And get some huge blue. Thank God. Usually when I open packs it's on stream. I have nobody to spoil it. Holy fuck. Really? Hmm? What the hell was that? Uh, John Smoltz! Oh, okay. Um, wow. I uh, would have thought I would have been able to recognize him. He's on so many TV broadcasts, but I suppose I usually tune him out when John Smoltz is, uh, <laughs> Smoltz is on there. I'm not the biggest fan of his commentating, truly. But you know what? Huge! Big 97 overall pull. Yes, I I'm going to be sarcastic as shit. But it is 20k. You know, 20k is not bad. Again, it probably took me about 15, 20 minutes tops in total. Because um, if you surf out for a horror... Surf out for a horror... <laughs> horror me out! Keep getting these diamond pulls, baby! I I'm all ready. Sell me out like a slut for these purples. Hell yeah! Give me that Nico Horner. I think. Yeah, I'm horny for Nico Horner, as always. Well. Damn right. Um, but yeah, if you sell out for a horrible pitcher, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier. So if you face Randy Johnson, yes, it's going to take longer. If you face, But if you face someone like, I don't know, Emilio Pagan, Brett Saberhagen, it's going to be a hell of a lot quicker. Oh, baby. <laughs> looks so snazzy. Looks so cool. Looks like a couple other people are on the train now. Six other people have gotten them since I. Okay, well this has been pretty good. Two diamonds, you know what? That's like 25k guaranteed. You clock it at about 15 minutes per half an hour in total for this little bit. I did have five packs um, there as well. A pretty good expenditure, pretty good use of time. And the XP, of course, is great as well. But here's the big boys. Here's the big reason we came here is for... You know, Connor Menace. Uh, that, that's what I came for. Uh, good lord. Tony Gonsolin. Who do you guys think is going to win MV... Uh, not MVP. That's pretty much case closed. Uh, who do you think is going to win Cy Young in each league? I think that's a bit more of a uh, entertaining conversation. I will say, I've checked out. I have zero interest. If you were to you know, talk to me about the AL MVP... I'm just going to walk away. I have no fucking interest in that discourse. Otani versus Judge. These are two generational type performances that each side has to discredit the other one. Like, not everybody. You know, it's a few bad eggs in the bunch that ruin it for the rest. But you know how it is. It's like, oh, you know, we can't celebrate Otani because Judge is clearly the MVP. And vice versa, you know. Uh, who cares? What's Judge's ERA? Zero, technically, if you weren't aware. Um... I keep forgetting Billy Hamilton as a twin. God. 
I think his goal at this point is to play for every MLB team. And you know what? He's been so bad, he might just be able to do it. <laughs> he provides some base running still. Uh, he's still very fast, obviously. Uh, you know, but he's just bad enough to where no team would want him for longer than one contract. So I could easily see him going the full 30-team the full route. Wow, Josh Hader. What a way to end that one out, huh? So yeah, <laughs> results may vary. <laughs> as you see clearly right there. Why don't we open this just for the hell of it? You know, what if, right? What if I spent 20,000 to get 1,000 stubs, you know? Well, yeah, I would have rather I didn't do that one right there, <laughs> actually. But you know what? You win some, you lose some. And uh, I guess we won some with John Smoltz, you know what? Uh, but yeah, very good method. Obviously, even if you don't get crazy pulls, uh, you're going to get value there. Pretty much everything has gone past the point of quick sell at this rate. So everything is up in price. If, as long as you're willing to put in the work selling these cards, you're going to make a shitload, which is going to be very, very helpful going forward um, with the new cards that are going to come out because they're going to be expensive and you're going to need a way to pay for it. So again, very easy. I do power swing to get this done. I think that is just the best practice. Uh, it is on all-star difficulty. It's not like a guaranteed home run each time, but you'll hit so many off PCI home runs. I just feel like you're playing Battle Royale, I suppose. But uh, let me know what you guys get. Let me see some big pulls that you guys have. There's still stubs. There really is. There is absolutely still big stubs in those live series pulls. You know, 140, 140, 230 for Scherzer. Um, Trout barely holding on to that 100K mark right there, which is asinine to even think about. Weird times we live in, huh? But yeah, let me know some big polls you guys go to the comment section down below. And yeah, we'll reconvene tomorrow talking about the big BR rewards. Because oh baby, I am excited. Thank you all for watching. Because it's a good day. There comes out yeet.